The last time I looked at Cinnamon on Previous D, it was old and out of date. That was 2019, and things have changed a bit since then. Although I'm using GhostBSD, everything that I do in this video will apply to FreeBSD as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go down to the software station, put in password, and I'm going to install Cinnamon. Now, I think the latest release on the site is 4.8.5, and GhostBSD, if I'm not mistaken, has 4.8.4. .4. So I'm just going to install. I probably didn't need to install all of them because it's uh, more than likely a, a meta package which would have uh, pulled everything down, but still, uh, it's good to be sure. Right, I'm going to log in. The default is Mate in GhostBSD, but I'm going to select Cinnamon, put in the password, and we'll log in. Right, this is not the default way it looks. <laughs> I've actually been in and made one or two alterations. You can see that there's some uh, widgets or desklets there. I uh, changed the wallpaper, and uh, I've, everything else is more or less the same. I must admit, I'm uh, I'm liking the way it looks. It looks very nice indeed, and I'm almost tempted to uh, change the cinnamon. But we'll we'll delve a bit bit more into it. The menu is uh, a lot of things which is already on the system to begin with, part of the uh, Ghost PSD setup. And everything here is more or less uh, part of the cinnamon package. So first, we all got the backgrounds. Add waiter. Maybe that's right. Pronounce it. The default background is a nice blue. And you've got all these nice selection if you want to uh, splash out a bit. I like this one. Uh, it's the one that I chose when I first logged in. You got this one, uh, symbolics. Uh, kind of a wood one, which looks like the blue ones really. We'll go back to this one. I could have that one instead. No, we'll go back to that one. And if you add your own as well, so very nice. Go to settings, you can uh, put on a slideshow if you want it to constantly change. Um, no, I'm not going to... Uh, random order if you want that as well, if you've got a large selection. And the minutes, and yeah, we're not going to bother with that. i tell you something though. The amount of options in Cinnamon is, it's, there's quite a few. Right, so this one, if you want uh, overall effects, you've got window effects. Uh, turn them on and off, it depends. I'll, I'll leave them on. And you've got the different type of uh, minimize and maximize effect. Uh, you can customize the settings to almost every little detail that you want to alter. What next? Ah, okay. I've got the effects. Font selection. Um, I'll make them one size a bit bigger. For my tiled old eyes. There you go. But apart from that, yes, you can change almost setting on uh, almost everything about it. Themes. Um, yeah, you can change it again. It's not. It, it still is very familiar if you're using KDE. It's a similar kind of uh, choice. And just refresh that because there should be something there. I could have pressed yes, of course. And it will download a nice updated uh, selection. I'll just uh, fast forward this and just download a few. So, okay. I'll change that desktop to uh, Cinnamon. Uh, there's only one choice there. I'm going to change the pointer to uh, whatever. Oh, it's a nice fat pointer. It's very nice. I'm going to change the overall color to uh, add way to dark. It's very nice. I like that. I might change the, uh, the folders to that. Or maybe uh, Dementor. Oh, to, yeah, Vivacious. Okay. And this lets you choose the uh, overall buttons. So I like them. Nice and colorful. Uh, add and remove, of course, if you want to uh, uninstall the ones you've just put in. Settings, show icons in menus, and show icons on buttons. Very nice. You've got accessibility, you got account details, uh, applets, which... Uh, I'm going to leave at the default there. But there are some good ones, there really is. Hmm. 
and go back and date and time if you need to change anything. And desolates, uh, they're the ones that you see on the desktop. I'm quite fond of them actually, I do think they're quite functional and uh, I do like them. So, uh, good selection. Uh, it's not too bad. KDE Connect, very nice. Uh, yeah, we'll put top. Download that. And Pang Chang Desolate, which is a Hindu calendar. And Network Uses Monitor, I don't think I'll use that, but I'll install it anyway. Right, we just put that up there. Uh, oh, I have to change the colours a bit, I can't see what's going on. Not that I think anything is going on, it's just a zero, zero, zero. But we'll, we'll change it anyway. Change the colour to um, white, make it stand out, and change the change it to uh, from blue to oh I don't know yellow maybe, yeah go on then. Right, okay that's that looks quite nice. It's a shame that it doesn't seem to be working, but it looks nice. I wonder if it's set up to work on Linux instead of FreeBSD. Uh, this is the Hindu calendar and almanac. Uh, it's uh, what children are. Studying at the moment, so uh, that would be quite useful for them. And next, you can change your desktop. Again, lots of different choices if you want icons to appear. Uh, maybe I should move that uh, top display. Yeah, I can put it there. And yeah, whichever order you switch them on is how they appear on the desktop, which is. <laughs> this is something which amused me no end. Extensions. Um, I think there's a refresh it again. Well, look at that watermark. Pull this a watermark on your desktop. Fantastic. And if you've got desktop cube, let's include that. And uh, wobbly window, of course. I think that's it. There's quite a few more that you could look at, and I'll look at them later. So, Wobbly Windows, you just press plus to activate it, and we'll see if it works. It does. But there's a bit of glitching, that's probably uh, my computer that doesn't, uh, that doesn't like it. So, I'll just uh, turn that one off. Yeah, that's better. Right, what else have we got? Uh, just, I must stop closing it after I've used it. Uh, Desolates, extensions, uh, general. Change the uh, compositor options. Hot corners if you uh, if you like that kind of thing. Uh, online accounts if you want to link up to uh, your social media. Uh, the panel if you want to change uh, how it looks and where it appears, etc. Very reminiscent of uh, KDE, I think. Go to preferred applications and uh, Mate terminal and Mate calculator. Well, and privacy. So yeah, all very nice. Screensaver. If you want to uh, turn that on or turn it off, I usually switch it off. Uh, yeah, turn that off. Very annoying when it locks up and you have to put the password in every time. Uh, start up applications if you want, what, want to uh, to greet you when you log in. I leave that as default. Window tiling. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, yes, yeah, not bad. There's a lot of choices on this. Uh, actual windows themselves. If you want to uh, change the buttons, left. Uh, norm style. Uh, classic Mac. And uh, back to how it was. And oh, system settings. Well, we'll change the windows again. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll go back. And workspaces. If you want to uh, add workspaces and uh, how you switch between them and 
just generally how they how they interact with them. So yes, there's enough here that you can uh, you could end up just playing with it all day. I mean, it's a, it's a desktop which uh, it will take a while to learn the ins and outs of, to all the options available. But I could see it being something I I could easily use. I've come to respect KDE Plasma uh, quite a bit. Uh, but I don't know Cinnamon. I don't know. This is a new thing that's catching my eye. So I just thought I'd show you it. Uh, how things have moved on a little bit in FreeBSD land, and that uh, we've got all the cool toys as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.